Little business to take care of before this one. Jesse Stout and honored for playing 100 games with the Ridgebacks. Gales turn the puck over in their own end while the ice is still wet, but Stoughton can't beat Kevin Bailey on the backhand. Taylor Clement falls, and that means Nate Milton will buzz towards goal. The D-man closing quickly forces an early shot. No problem for Bailey on the save. Ridgebacks had all the pressure to start, but a too many men penalty gives the Gales a power play. They waste little time converting. Ryan Bloom picks out Patrick McGillis in front of the goal. He snaps a shot past Brendan O'Neill for a 1-0 lead. More times often than not, this will be called for a hit from behind. But instead of a Ridgeback power play, they wind up shorthanded because seconds later, this is called for tripping. So Queen's back to the man advantage and Slater Doggett is going to pop the water bottle. That is a heck of a shot, give the Gales a 2-0 lead. But a minute and a half later, the Ridgebacks claw back within one. Cameron Ewell finds a puck in a mess of skates and finds the back of the net behind Bailey. Early third period now, Darcy Greenway with a chance, but O'Neill is going to stare him down. The Ridgebacks had just killed off a two-man advantage to Queens who were on a short power play of their own, but Ryan Bloom scores from a tough angle shorthanded to put the Gales up by a score of 3-1. Just over five minutes to play now. James Woodcroft wins a battle. Throws the puck out for Connor Jarvis, and he's going to pull the trigger, put it on the board. The Ridgebacks are within one goal. But here comes Queens, three on one. They're not going to get a shot off, though, as the pass is broken up by Tyler Maia. Time ticking away, less than 40 seconds left on the clock. Goal out. The point shot from Jason Shaw through a crowd and into the back of the net. Jesse Stoughton gets a piece of it. The Ridgebacks don't care who gets credit, they just know they are off to overtime in this game. The Ridgebacks own the extra period. This was the only sniff of the goal Queens had, but it's all they need. Henry Thompson converts from the pass from Bloom to give the Gales a 4-3 win and a 1-0 series lead. Henry Thompson from Oshawa, a former captain of the Whippy Fury and a member of the Ridgebacks coach Curtis Hodgins' Fury team that went to the OJHL Finals. In 2012, the Ridgebacks know this is a game they could have had, and it's not over yet. I think we had we had a lot of pressure. We were taking it to them, uh, but that's hockey. You know, they we were trading chance for chance there, and they uh, they bang one home, and uh, unfortunately they got they got one in. Uh, you know, give our guys full full marks for coming back with two in the last five to, to take it to overtime. And like I say, we we had all the chances in overtime that. Uh, that should have been our hockey game, but uh, unfortunately it's not, and nothing we can do about it now, and uh, we'll regroup and be ready for game two.